Hi, this is Jensen from The Haunted. You're listening to Collision on Voice FM. How are you? I'm fine. Great. We did the first couple of shows this weekend, so everything is great. Yeah, because the album's been out a couple of weeks now, hasn't it? On the 25th to one week. Oh, one week. How exciting is that period when you first release it? Because you guys have probably known it for a while. Yeah, it's, you know, uh, you have an opinion about your album and uh, we all thought that, well, usually you think your new album is good, but this album in particular we thought was good. So we were very um, curious to hear if other people also heard what we heard. And it seems like it. I mean, judging by the, uh, the, the reviews that we've seen that, you know, it looks very, very good, actually. And uh, now that you get to go out and um, meet people who you, you know, at shows you play, people you don't know, mm-hmm. uh, because, uh, you know, some of our friends have heard it, of course, but th- those you knew, you do know, and they might tell you shit, even if it's good, because <laughs> they're your friends. <laughs> you don't know. But, uh, yeah, so people are very happy. You know, there's a great buzz and energy at the shows. People are going nuts, uh, even for the new songs. You know, usually it's the old hits they want to hear, but yeah, new songs too. So it felt really good. Awesome. And I see you actually did work with a new producer, Russ Russell, who's worked with Napalm Death as well as others. So before that, had you only ever worked with one producer on all eight of your studio albums? Well, we the first um, two and a half uh, albums, I guess you could say. We worked with Frederick Nordstrom, the guy who created uh, um, the Gothenburg Sound, along with all the bands from mm-hmm. there, you know, At The Gates, In Flames, Dark and Quality, and everything. So the first two and a half albums were... No, hang on, I'm lying here. Mm-hmm. First, first album and third album were mm-hmm. recorded by him. The next five albums were recorded by uh, a Danish fellow called Tue Madsen, mm-hmm. And I think it would have been, um, it's a good thing to change a producer every three albums or so. So it, we should have really have changed already um, on the last album, The Exit Wounds. But uh, I don't know if you know, but we lost uh, three members back then. And so we had to get three, so to speak, three mm-hmm. new members, even though two guys had been in the band previously. So we felt that uh, just because we had that big change uh, in lineup, we wanted to keep as many names and, you know, surrounding vicinity of the band mm, yeah. as possible. So, so we, yeah, we kept them all for that album too. But for this album, you know, same lineup as the, uh, the last album. So we thought, let's give a, another producer a try. And we had known Russ Russell since it was our first UK tour, actually. In 98, we opened for Napalm Death in, in the UK. Mm-hmm. And he did their live sound. And he's a great fella, very funny, you know, very energetic. And, and like you said, he's done Napalm Death and Demon Borger and so on. So we knew what he was capable of. And we think he did a killer job on this album, actually. That's a good thing with uh, changing producers, because they can bring out something that uh, the band doesn't know is there. So he put um, a, a lot more uh, aggressive, uh, harder hitting edge to the to the music than we thought was there. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, I was noticing actually you've undergone a few lineup changes. Like you've changed singers four times, but you've only ever had two singers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you that just is strange. people don't go away from the band for very long. They always come back. <laughs> yeah, which is a good thing, I guess. Then that you know, if if we had had needed to have four different singers, then it would you know how important singers are to a, a band. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, connection with the fans. Yeah. It's the voice they hear speaking to them through their headphones. And if there's, it's a new voice, then it's a kind of new band, I guess. And mm. So, yeah, it, we're very happy, fortunate that we've had only two singers. Mm. And, you know, the, the drummer who, who came back, he had been on the first album as well. So the only real new guy is the other guitar player, Ola Englund. Mm. But he's not that new to uh, metal fans because he's one of those YouTubers and internet guitar players. So he's... You know, he has a huge following all, all on his own. All right. So did you actually find him that way or did he find you? No, no. I found him because, you know, like a, every guitar player, we're kind of nerdy and we want to check out, you know, what's this new amp and what's this old amp or, you know. Mm. And there was this blonde Swedish guy showing up in every, you know, every YouTube search that I did. And I like, who is this guy? And so I sent him a, te- uh, you know, a Facebook message and he replied back really quickly because, I didn't know back then, but uh, I know now that if you need, if you want to succeed as a YouTuber and everything, you need to be very responsive. You need to answer 
almost everyone that answers you. So of course he would yeah. answer someone who texted him. And I, so I wrote to him and said, I'm, uh, you know, I'm interested in, in this and that. And he answered my questions. And then uh, I asked him a little bit about his music taste. And then, they, you know, kind of similar to mine. And then I asked him if he wanted to join the band. So I, mm. I kind of felt him out first. But yeah, he's a, I think he has maybe 50 million views on YouTube or something. He's a big name. Yeah, awesome. It's almost, uh, as, you know, like we joined him. He's that big. <laughs> <laughs> but you were one of the founding members of this band like 21 years ago now. Do you know what you might have mm. done if you hadn't joined a band or started a band? Yeah, I mean, I, I had a... a I have a solid education. I'm an in engineer. I worked at the airplane factory right after school. And uh, my uh, first band, Seon, so like a death metal band, we did a tour with At The Gates. Yep. And I, I got along really well with the drummer, Adrian. And uh, so I just, uh, you know, maybe six months after that tour, I quit my job and I moved down to uh, Gothenburg with you know, no job or anything. It just, I'm going to form a band with Adrian. And he wanted to form a band too, but mm. it wasn't until At The Gates split, split up that him and I had the first the rehearsal, which turned into The Haunted. But yeah, I would probably still be making airplanes if I hadn't done that tour and met Adrian. Awesome. Well, what would you say is like the best thing that's ever happened to you as being part of a band? Uh, that is a tough question because as a, a great I'm a huge music lover, a music fan. So meeting your idols is mm -hmm. great. Like meeting Rob Halford and meeting Black Sabbath. You know, we played a tour with Black Sabbath on the Oz Fest. Right. And just meeting all these people, that is huge, of course. Just sitting in the Bill Ward's, um, you know, they, everyone in Black Sabbath had um, their own trailer for that tour. And just sitting alone with Bill in the trailer and talking about old times when him and John Bonham played drums, you know, they learned, taught each other, uh, you know, a few beats and everything. And, you know, those things are surreal. Yeah. But also uh, the other aspect that I am also someone's idol, I guess. Mm. Uh, but th because people, they come up to us to say, your music has stopped me from uh, committing suicide. That's happened a lot. People have come up and said, you know, really heartfelt and, you know, emotional and so you believe them, mm. and then uh, you have the people who are only have, um, you know, like uh, they're super uh, positive and everything, and the band is everything. And this one uh, family uh, showed up to a show, and that guy was a super fan of everything I did, me personally, all my bands. The, mm. the he had them all, and he had his wife with him. She didn't like metal, but she had come because it was this me, this guy, her husband had been talking about all the time, and she was. Just because he'd been talking so much, she was totally red in the face, like she had met, uh, uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. Tom Cruise or the, you know, you know, she was completely like, this person is real. And and then uh, the guy said, yeah, we've uh, just had our firstborn son and we've uh, named him Jensen. Right. Jensen is my last name. Yeah. But everyone calls me Jensen, I, and you know, it works just like Jason or whatever. But yeah, there's a guy running around, a little guy. <laughs> His name's, well, my last name. I mean, how, it's so strange. That you know of, there could be more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But so it's really hard yeah. to say what, what is the, the uh, I mean, I've played, um, of course, you know about uh, Slayer. You know Slayer the band. Yeah, of course I know them. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, played Raining Blood uh, live on stage with Dave Lombardo. I mean, All right. and you, I've, I've gotten to do so many crazy things that it's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been a really, I'm very happy that I'm not building your brain. <laughs> Definitely. It sounds like from that, that you actually like, you have those surreal moments, but then you actually seeing them in other people coming from you kind of thing. So you're, yeah, you're seeing mm. what it's like from both sides of the fence in that. Exactly. So, and you know, me meeting Rob Halford, okay, that's cool. But me saving people from committing suicide, that's a lot bigger. But then again, Rob Halford is also, I'm sure, <laughs> so have prevented people from committing suicide. So, uh, you know, yeah, which which aspect am I going to look at? You know, it, it's all good. It's a really um, rewarding uh, line of work, I'd have to say. Yeah. And well, with the new album, strength in numbers you've just started touring that is there any chance that you will make it out to australia in the next 18 months or so 
Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, there's already advanced talk uh, about uh, going to Australia early next year. All right. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So we can definitely keep an eye out for some sort of announcement on that front. Yeah. I, I, it shouldn't be too long, yeah. I'm sure. Do you actually... Yeah, we, I mean, we love playing Australia, so we want to come every for every album. I mean, we'd love to tour Australia twice. I mean, oh. it's a really beautiful country. People are really hospitable and genuinely thankful for, you know, traveling very far to come and play and, you know... Mm. It's a great place to go if you're in a band. Well, it sounds to me like you, you're actually really full of energy and excited about the band and that as well at the moment. So I'm guessing that you're far from finished. You started working on a new album yet or do you wait before you think about that? No, you know, I'm probably the oldest 20-year-old there is. I, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever grow uh, jaded or, you know, it's music. It's what I love to do, so... If we have a new album out that people are, are loving, then, you know, it makes me happy. Mm. So we want to get out there and play and everything. And I um, write music all the time. I never stop. I don't see it as, uh, you know, okay, we're done with this album, so I don't have to write anything. Mm. Writing something is natural to me. So, mm. yeah, I have another band that we released an album in November last year. And uh, uh, just last Friday, we uh, announced that we're releasing a, a new album. Also through Essential Media uh, this November as well. So that'd be witchery. Yes. Right. So, yeah. So I love to I love to write music, and I'm going to keep on as long as you know people want to hear it. Yeah. No, that's really cool, and I really like the album. I've only listened to it twice so far, but it's really good, and yeah. I'm looking so looking forward to you guys actually coming down to Australia again. Yeah. Oh. The haunted. Yeah. The Haunted. Yes, um, people can find out more about you on facebook.com forward slash haunted official, or if you just yeah. put in The Haunted, of course, you guys come up because you're so damn good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the album Strength in Numbers, definitely out now. Is there something that you want to say to your Australian fans about the album Strength in Numbers and why they should definitely check it out? Well, I know that all all bands say this, but we are very proud of the album, and people seem to uh, you know really enjoy the album. So, if you have ever heard of the band The Haunted and thought that we might have gone astray from our sound, then this is probably the album you wanted us to make. This is kind of back to our roots album. So, give it a shot. If you don't like it, then that's cool. Thanks for checking it out. But I'm pretty sure that people will love this album. So am I, and I definitely recommend they check it out. And if they even just go to your Facebook page, Haunted Official again, like you've got a mm. video running on your cover shot, which has got some of the reviews and that in there, and you've been getting some pretty awesome reviews on the album. Yeah. So, congratulations mm. on that. And um, you sound Thank really you. happy about it. It's really cool. Yes. Yeah. Very so happy. The only other thing we need to do now is to... Uh, Go to uh, Australia. Yes. So we, you know, we get to play the music for you as well. Well, we're all expecting that now, and we're expecting it sooner rather than later. <laughs> sure. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. My pleasure. And I expect to um, have a chat to you again when you actually announce that Australian tour. It'll Very be cool. fun. And I look forward to seeing it. And I definitely recommend anyone to go out and check out the Haunted new album, Strength in Numbers. And you definitely have to go out and check out track seven. This is the end because it is definitely a cool song. But they all are. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. And I look forward to talking again sometime. Yes. Thank you, Kat. It's been a pleasure. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye.